Good evening. Presenting the colors this evening will be ONW Eagle Scouts. Calling tonight is Grant Logsdon. Carrying the flag of the United States is Zach Smith. Carrying the state flag of Kansas is Jaron Schlepp. And the remaining member of the color guard is Alex Rawson. Please stand for the presentation of our nation's colors and Pledge of Allegiance. Color Guard, present the colors. Color Guard, advance. Color Guard, post the colors. Will you please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by our national anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Color Guard, return to post. You may now be seated. Good evening and welcome to the Aletha Northwest Class of 2023 graduation. Today is a momentous day as we celebrate the accomplishments of all these amazing seniors. As we reflect on the achievements of our graduates, I want to take a moment for everybody to think about someone who has made a positive difference in all of our lives. That person is our beloved receptionist, Miss Debbie. <laughs> Students, yeah. <laughs> Students, think back to your first day at ONW, all the way back to four years ago for some of us. Every single one of us was nervous, scared, and brand new to, for most of us, the biggest school we had ever been in. A school so full of new names and faces that it seemed insurmountable. There was no way we were ever gonna make it. And even though we felt so nervous and timid walking into those doors, there was a welcoming presence, a smiling face, and a kind soul ready to greet us on day one with the warmth of somebody that you've known your whole lifetime, Miss Debbie. We went into COVID really only having a year to get to know all of those new faces we had to rebuild the school spirit of our lost years. And the only way we did that was by taking after Miss Debbie. We had to welcome new things, new people, and new experiences into our lives, just as she had welcomed us. And now, it is no longer new faces at a high school that we are welcoming into our lives. Now, we welcome our next steps, 
and for the first time, those steps are no longer the same. We are no longer walking in through the same doors to go to the same classes on the same days. Tonight is the last night that everything for all of us is going to be the same. So as we move forward once again and restart, let's carry with us that same welcoming spirit. Let's smile at a stranger, lend a helping hand, and look upon those we meet with kind eyes. And even though this is the last night of everything being the same, there is one thing between all of us that will remain unchanged, and that is that we will always be Ravens. We will always carry with us the same memories and pride that we built over these last four years. Memories of state championship banners, packed wideout games, Mr. Slavin blowing up basically everything, our senior skip day, more than one skip day. And so as we close this door and open the next, let us remember the lessons we learned from Miss Debbie and the countless other welcoming faces that have impacted us. Let us remember all the sames that we share now and in the future and the past and choices we made that led us all here and let us all make those wise choices. It is a peculiar feeling to graduate. Even more peculiar, however, is the realization that every decision, every action, every word, and every step that we have taken in our lives have led us all here, to the same place, at the same time, for the same reason. The notion that even the most minuscule of actions can cause a series of momentous and even unexpected outcomes is suggested by the butterfly effect showing us that our actions have the ability to govern our future. Now, if I said the reason I'm standing before you today is because of a bowl of fried rice, I would be met with some confusion and perhaps even some laughter. But 23 years ago, a woman journeyed from the bustling roads of India to the quaint streets of Kansas City. Plagued by confusion and uncertainty, she one day found solace in a bowl of fried rice. The seemingly insignificant meal was the catalyst that encouraged this woman to adapt, stay in America, and create a life for her family. That woman is my mother, and the determination that that bowl of fried rice gave her rippled outwards, not only giving me a life in this country, but giving me the passion and confidence to speak to you all today. In this way, Throughout our lives, we have encountered countless moments that may have seemed inconsequential. But as we move forward, we mustn't underestimate the power of our individual actions, for they have the power to shape the world. For even the tiniest act of kindness, the gentlest words of encouragement, or even a bowl of fried rice, can create a ripple effect that reaches far beyond our imagination. So although today we will be leaving behind our fond memories of Raven 50, our fight for survival in the 1300s pod during passing period, or waiting in the lunch line for those Uncrustables and garden salsa chips, we must remember to embrace the butterfly effect. We must be mindful of our actions, but most importantly, we must aspire to live in the moment, for the impact of small moments is often overlooked. As we migrate into the next step chapter of our lives, I urge you all to remember the butterfly that is today, for the flapping of a butterfly's wings in one part of the world can ultimately change the course of events in another. Congratulations again, class of 2023. We deserve it. It is a fantastic night to be a Raven and a member of our esteemed class of 2023. Good evening and welcome to the 20th commencement exercises at Olathe Northwest High School. Thank you to Tristan Wilson and Ashna Jaswal for our welcome this evening. In addition to serving as senior class president for the class of 2023, Tristan was on the senior committee, Raven Flight Corps, in, e in the E-Communications Academy, Student Council, National Honor Society, and Rho Kappa. He will attend the University of Kansas. 
Tristan's parents are Wade and Andrea Wilson. Ashna Jaswal was a member of National Honor Society, Debate and Forensics, Technology Student Association, and Rho Kappa. Ashna will attend Fordham University this fall. Ashna's parents are Shamli and Munish Jaswal. Before we celebrate our 449 seniors, I would like to take a moment to acknowledge the Olathe Board of Education for supporting outdoor graduations. This is only the seventh year in Olathe's history of hosting graduation outside. I'd like to also recognize a few of the district and building personnel who have worked diligently coordinating tonight's ceremony. Mr. Clint Albers, Assistant Superintendent of Secondary School, Schools, and Mrs. Donna Stewart, Executive Assistant. Our District Service Center employees and ONW's entire office staff. Please don't tell anyone they are the best office staff. The live stream tonight is being directed by Doug Capeller, Joel Johns, Andy Netterville, and Jeff Cooper. The videos prior to the ceremony were created by e-communication students Miles Lindley, C Cecilia Koperanian, and Natalie Fales under the expert tutelage of Ms. Kathleen Smith and Mr. Jeff Cooper. The choir is under the direction of Mrs. Pam Williamson. Please join me in a round of applause for all the, of those people so vital to tonight. As I said, tonight is a very special evening. Our graduation ceremony reflects the high esteem and admiration that we hold for you, the class of 2023, and all that our students have accomplished. The senior committee and our senior class sponsors, Ms. Erica Cohan and Ms. Jennifer Hamilton, are responsible for planning tonight's program, as well as a number of other activities this year. This group has worked diligently to ensure that the ceremony is reflective of, reflective of our talented graduating class. I will read the names of the senior committee whom I ask to stand for recognition. Please hold your applause until I have read all the names. Kelsey Booker, Cam Carlstedt, Camille Chaffin, Liz Crane, Brianna Cole, Libby Dirasol, Miley Dillon, Rainey Fisher, Ethan Gao, Jenna Gracier, Ava Hansen, Samuel Hansen, Nabila Hirai, Rowan Highfill, Abby Heinrichs, Simone Hood, Ashna Jaswal, Ava Kemp, Lexi Koyman, Bryn Lachance, Lily Lowe, Kira Miner, Madeline Wynn, Jenna Nichols, Aspen Patterson, Justin Preston, Marin Rapp, Aubrey Sanchez, Carly Shear, Livy Spurgeon, Tyler Sykes, Sydney Ewer, Anna Wolf, Allison Zimmerman, and Tristan Wilson. Thank you for a job well done. You may be seated. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Brent Yeager, Superintendent of the Olathe Public School District. On behalf of the administration, staff, and Board of Education, thank you for your presence at this significant event today as we conduct commencement ceremonies for graduating seniors from the Olathe Public Schools. Board of Education representatives participating in the ceremony today are Mr. Joe Beveridge and Mr. Robert Kuhn. Others joining us on stage this evening are Dr. Lachelle Sig, Assistant Superintendent overseeing Human Resources, Dr. Leah Cogswell, Assistant Principal, and Mr. Steve Page, uh, Assistant Principal. This class has earned a significant number of individual and group accomplishments during its years here. Again, U.S. News named ONW as one of the top 10 high schools in Kansas, currently number four. 70 students in ONW's class of 2023 were named Kansas State Scholars. 30 Ravens graduating tonight were designated as ACT Scholars for scoring a 32 or higher on the ACT. Colleges and universities across the country have recognized the consistently high level of student achievement and academic excellence by offering scholarships in the amount of over $11 million to ONW's class of 2023. Absolutely. ONW has a, tr a tradition of recognizing students whose GPAs are in the top 10% of the graduating class. Tonight, 43 students wear medallions to celebrate this accomplishment. If you're one of these students, please stand so we can recognize you.
Thank you. A number of members were named as National Merit Commended Scholars, placing them in the top 3% of all test takers of the PSAT when they were juniors. Please stand when your name is re read. Gavin Behrens. Gavin's parents are Stephanie and Joel Behrens. Gavin will attend the University of Kansas and major in computer science. Cameron Carlstedt. Cameron's parents are Darcy and Jason Carlstedt. Cameron will attend the University of Arkansas and major in business. Luke Edwards. Luke's parents are Jessica and Sean Edwards. Luke will major in history at Kansas State University. Kyle Fleming. Kyle's parents are Emily and Richard Fleming. Kyle will attend the University of Kansas and major in computer science. Justin Hoshauer. Justin's parents are Emily and Clifford Hoshauer. Justin will, will major in technology systems at Utah State University. Shane McCrory. Shane's parents are Michelle and Todd McCrory. Shane will attend the University of Kansas and major in aerospace engineering. Andrew Matchett. Andrew's parents are Steph and John Matchett. Andrew will major in aerospace engineering at the University of Kansas this fall. Alexander Rawson. Alexander's parents are Mark and Carol Rawson. Alexander will attend the University of Kansas and major in computer engineering. Carly Shear. Carly's parents are Jen and Craig Shear. Carly will attend Duke University and major in statistics and economics. Tyler Sykes. Tyler's parents are Dinah and Jeff Sykes. Tyler will major in biochemistry at Point Loma Nazarene University. Congratulations to all of you. You may be seated. Six members were named as National Merit Scholars, placing them in the top 1% of all test takers of the PSAT. Please stand when your name is read. William Bergman. William's parents are Valerie and Peter Bergman. William will attend Northwestern University this fall and major in physics and mathematics. Alana Schmalzried Lugo. Alana's parents are Patty and Rhett Schmalzried Lugo. Alana will attend the University of Kansas and major in electrical engineering with a minor in cello performance. Grant Shanklin. Grant's parents are Angie and Robert Shanklin. Grant will attend Yale University and major in computer science and global affairs. Samuel Swales. Sam's parents are Rhonda and Jim Swales. Samuel will major in aerospace engineering at the University of Kansas. Amy Van Osprey. Amy's parents are Jen and Chris Van Osprey. Amy will major in chemical engineering at the University of Kansas. Hope Wagner. Hope's parents are Faith and Donovan Wagner. Hope will major in engineering at the University of Kansas. Congratulations to all of you. You can have a seat. Now it is my distinct privilege to introduce our first student speaker, Kylie Davis. Kylie's parent is Scott Davis. Kylie has been involved in a number of activities at Northwest, including student council as an executive, Asian Student Union, e-communications, Rho Kappa, theater, and Scholars Bowl. Kylie will attend Loyola University in Chicago this fall and major in philosophy with an emphasis in social justice in the pre-law track. at Olathe Northwest, I've given a lot of speeches in front of a pretty big variety of crowds. I cannot say, though, that any of these were inspirational. So before I start, for safety precautions, there are multiple exits posted around the stadium in case this speech crashes and burns. <laughs> now that we've established our basic safety guidelines, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Kylie Davis, and I would first like to congratulate all of the Class of 2023 graduates. The class of 2023 is one of the largest high schools in Kansas, giving us the opportunity to experience a wide range of diversity of thought. Each of us have interacted with a variety of cultures and had unique, timeless experiences. And yet, tonight has led us all here, to this exact same place. An event that we will experience only once in our lives and a gateway to the impact that we will make on this world. I think we can all agree that our class has had to adapt to far more things than most. We have all persevered through alternative and online learning, the ever-developing world of modern technology, and the never-ending lines outside of the cafeteria, alongside many other landmark events. 
For example, does anyone remember the time that the bell rang for over an hour straight? As I look into the crowd, I see many familiar faces. Partners from group projects, friends I greet in the hallways, and students I wish I'd had the opportunity to meet. Our lives have been centered around this school for the past four years. We've taken what felt like a never-ending amount of tests, met new friends, and now we graduate together. But with this bitter departure comes a sense of achievement. We are stepping out of high school, our own little world that has granted us a safety net to learn and to grow. We'll be venturing into an unknown, unpredictable world where we must embrace change. And yet, it is because I have learned and celebrated with so many in this crowd that I can say that we as a class are more than prepared to take these steps into what our parents call the real world. Olathe Northwest has so many passionate students, students that represent our class well and are catalysts for change. I have seen this firsthand. When I came to this school as a 21st century student, I knew almost no one. All my friends had gone to my home high school and I was in the unknown. Yet it was in this class that I found unwavering support, innovative ideas, and unparalleled encouragement. As I look back, it is clear that many of my personal successes would not have been possible without the contributions of this class, a class that allowed me to achieve what I once thought was impossible. Standing in front of you now, I can confidently say that I am proud to be a Raven. We are one of the highest achieving high schools in our area, and this is due to how our peers and our curriculum build us up for success. From this field, already bursting with potential, Ravens will travel everywhere across the globe. Some will find their home in Lawrence or Manhattan, others in Fayetteville, San Diego, Chicago, or New York. It is from this spot that we will each make our individual impacts on this world. And yes, I know that everyone always tells you, you can change the world. These five words are repeated nearly every graduation. But I am here to tell you that in order to change the world, you do not have to change who you are. Our unique identities have created the goals that we set for ourselves. We all experience a diversity of purposes and motivations, but it is our support system that builds the foundation for our success. And it was this class that showed me the incredible power of individualism and perseverance, the two qualities that can make a seemingly impossible dream come true. After experiencing the unique potential of our class, I am confident that every one of us has the potential to change our respective corners of the world. And so, as we close this chapter of our lives and move forward onto the next, each and every one of you has the ability to make the positive impression on this world that you deserve, no matter where each of our paths may lead. Our time as Ravens have allowed us to gain not just independence, but also innovation. And while this event may be the last time that we are collectively known as Ravens, it is here that we begin to make our mark on those around us. And so as we begin to dive into the quote unquote real world, let us become the change makers that we as graduates have the potential to be. Thank you, Kylie. It is a long-standing tradition to recognize academic excellence in each graduating class by honoring the top 10 students. It is with great pleasure that I now present to you the students with the 10 highest GPAs in the class of 2023. Assistant Principal Dr. Leah Cogswell will assist Dr. Brent Yeager with the presentations to these students commemorating their outstanding achievement. Audience, please hold your applause until all of our top 10 students have been recognized. In alphabetical order, Rahi Dasgupta. Rahi's parents are Aditi and Chian Dasgupta. Rahi was involved in Tri-M Music Honor Society, First Tech Challenge, Asian Student Union, Principals Advisory and Technology Student Association. Ashna Jaswal. Ashna's parents are Sham Lee and Munish Jaswal. Ashna was involved in National Honor Society, Rho Kappa Debate and Forensics, Engineering Academy and Technology Student Association. Ashna will attend Fordham University in New York and major in Environmental Studies and Women and Gender Studies in a pre-law track. Alexandria Coyman. Alexandria's parents are Ann and Brian Coyman. Alexandria was involved in Link Crew Senior Committee, Scholars Bowl, and Principals Advisory. 
Alexandria will attend the Kansas State University and major in architectural engineering. Jacob Norris. Jacob's parents are Allison and Brian Holdeman and Kat and Jason Norris. Jacob was involved in cross country, track and field, engineering academy, and National Honor Society. Jacob is attending Kansas State University and majoring in industrial engineering. Connor Pru. Connor's parents are Renee and Jerry Pru. Connor was involved in swim and dive, band, and National Honor Society at Northwest. Connor will major in sustainability at Arizona State University this fall. Carly Shear. Carly's parents are Jen and Craig Shear. Carly was involved in tennis, National Honor Society, where she was vice president, Ro Kappa, concert master of concert orchestra, scholars bowl, class committees, link crew, and principals advisory. Carly will attend Duke University this fall and major in statistics and economics. Grant Shanklin. Grant's parents are Angie and Robert Shanklin. Grant was involved in Ro Kappa, Cyber Patriot, National Honor Society, and Awake. Grant will attend Yale University and major in computer science and global affairs. Tyler Sykes. Tyler's parents are Dinah and Jeff Sykes. Tyler was involved in Ro Kappa, National Honor Society, where he served as president, Scholars Bowl, Student Council, and Senior Committee. Tyler will attend Point Loma Nazarene University and major in bio biochemistry. Amy Van Osprey. Amy's parents are Jen and Chris Van Osprey. Amy was involved in marching band, concert band, Scholars Bowl, and National Honor Society. Amy will attend the University of Kansas and major in chemical engineering. Grace Wishern. Grace's parents are Amy Weisbrod and, Gra and Eric Wishern. Grace was involved in Engineering Academy, Science Olympiad, and Scholars Bowl while at ONW. Grace will major in biology at Kansas State University this fall. Congratulations to our top 10. All right, Grace, off to your right. Off to your right. Two indispensable parts of ONW are our 21st century academies, engineering and e-communications, both of which celebrated their 20th anniversary this year. The Engineering Academy endorsed 33 seniors this year. The capstones for this academy include Engineering a Better World, First Robotics, BattleBots, or Engineering to Endure, First Tech Challenge, and Electrothon. E-Communications endorsed 45 seniors this year. This long-standing Apple exemplary program has 350 students and works with community partners like Johnson County Mental Health, Olathe Municipal Courts, KU Med Center, Social Apex Media, and the Olathe School Districts district to give students practical, industry-connected experience in web, animation, graphic design, and video with true clients. Each year, this group hosts the largest multimedia high school competition in the area called Imagine. This year, students in Ecom produced two feature short movies named Wings and Sunsets at Noon that premiered on May 3rd at the movie theaters of Prairie Fire and then at the Boulevard Drive-In the following week. Over the course of your four years here, seniors, you've participated in a number of very successful activities, clubs, and athletics. Whether you are on the dance team that won a number of national championships, the Scholars Bowl team, performing arts, speech and debate, Hispanic leadership, diversity leadership, Asian student union, black student union, or athletic teams who have competed and won league, regional, and state championships, including most recently the 2022 Girls State, Track Champ uh, state Championship and 2022 Girls Golf State Championship while you attended ONW, your class has left an indelible mark. In fact, over the last calendar year, ONW athletic teams have finished in the top six in eight different sports with an all-around state champion in gymnastics and individual state champion in bowling. This week, several more teams will vie for championships in soccer, golf, track, and softball. Dozens upon dozens of students earned district and state honors in band, choir, and orchestra. Band, orchestra, and choir large group ensembles earned a lot of superior ratings at the Keisha large group ensemble performances in April. Debate and forensics has students qualify for nationals annually. Our theater program continues to provide first class entertaining shows and showcase our talented thespians. National Honor Society logged almost 9,000 service hours to our community. 
Our Cyber Patriot team qualified for nationals and finished in the top five in the country. Team 1710 First Robotics again advanced to the division championship at the world competition. And this is just a small sample of the talent that sits before us tonight. Without a doubt, the students in this class have a lot to be proud of in their high school journey. Our second honorary senior speaker is Braden Pierce. Braden's parents are Crystal and Robert Pierce. Braden is attending Drury University to major in biochemistry this fall. Braden has participated in National Honor Society as a membership chair, principal's advisory, awake, and volunteered through a number of organizations, including Westside Family Church, Johnson County, and Olathe Medical Center. Please welcome Braden Pierce. Hello, class of 2023, parents, family, and friends. My name is Braden, and I am incredibly grateful for the opportunity to speak before you today. Graduation speeches are typically about the good old times, with a funny story and maybe some wise words. But this speech will be entirely different. And that is because this speech is about socks. Will everyone please look down at your feet, at your socks? Take a good, long look. If you're like most people, you didn't remember what color socks you were wearing. You had to look just to be sure. But me, I didn't have to look. And that's because I only wear gray socks. Now, before you go ahead and call me a weirdo, let me explain. Gray socks go with literally anything. They're the perfect neutral. And this quirk of mine got me thinking. I think gray socks are a lot like my personality. I love pairing myself with different groups of people. Just like the gray sock has no issue pairing with bold polka dots or simple basics. Those are my socks, but what do your socks look like? Your socks might be thick and knee length and normally hidden by shin guards and cleats. Perhaps you rock the classy black socks forever paired with your dress shoes for band, choir, and orchestra. Maybe you play baseball and proudly wear your raven black and blue socks. There are some among you who even embody the neon sock, always jovial and extroverted. Some of you prefer no socks at all, just letting your dogs chill on out. There are blue socks and pink socks, striped socks, and socks with that weird lip on the end. There's no-show socks and long socks, and those socks that have like an individual spot for each toe like a glove. No matter who you are, each of you has a unique pair of socks woven through four years of high school and 17 and 18 years of life. The socks that you wear bear the marks of life. They're tattered and torn, sewed and ripped, but then renewed, full of memories, happy and sad. Think of the tiny hole in the left ankle that appeared after you broke your arm sophomore year or the bright green stitching on the big toe that you added when you realized that you loved theater and got a part in 9 to 5. The initials on the bottom of a loved one that you lost along the way. A silver trophy embroidery on the left heel from when you and the golf team won state. The activities and memories that you've made here at Olathe Northwest have shaped you in a way that makes you incredibly unique. No two graduates sitting in this crowd share the same socks, the same story, the same personality. What if we were all gray socks or yellow socks? Where would the diversity go? Have any of you ever lost a sock when doing laundry? Like you put in 12 socks and then somehow by the end of the whole process, there's only 11? This is truly one of life's greatest mysteries. But that lone sock, it's not nearly as useful by itself as it was as a pair. What can a lone sock accomplish? Maybe it can keep one foot warm, protect one foot from the elements, but it's just not complete. Just like socks, humans are built to be in community with one another. We thrive when we have others to do life with. And as a twin who came into this world with my matching sock, I know the importance of not doing life alone. Our generation is dealing with some of the highest occurrences of anxiety and depression ever. How do we fight this? We build community. We stick in pairs, not letting any one sock get lost in the dryer. We comfort one another. 
and to help each other find our pair should it go missing. Not only do we wear socks in pairs, but we also buy them in packs, maybe in twos, threes, or a mega pack of 10 or more. Class of 2023, look around you. Who is in your pack? Who is your support? Who has walked with you through this four-year experience that we call high school? It could be your parents, your friends, your coaches, your teachers. As you head into the world and begin to experience true freedom, don't forget to have a pack that has your back. Community is so vital in this world. Make sure that yours is strong to laugh with in the good times and to comfort you if your sock gets a tear. As you head into the world outside of the sock drawer that has been a Latham Northwest High School, be thinking of the incredibly unique pattern that you have knit over your socks and the fact that socks function best in community. How will you build a strong sock collection for the road ahead? How can you use your individuality, quirks and all, to bring light and hope to our world? Don't get cold feet about this next stage of life because you have been fully prepared to put your best foot forward. So here's to your next steps. Your feet have firm foundation. You are more than ready to inch your toes across the finish line. So here's to the class of 2023 and our next monumental step. Thank you, Braden. The foundation of any effective school is its instructional staff. Olathe Northwest is fortunate to have an extraordinary faculty. They are seated on both sides of each row and wearing their academic vestments representing their highest degrees. Faculty, would you please stand and be recognized? Thank you for all you do. Tonight, we do celebrate one member of our instructional staff who is retiring this year. Lisa Whalen, would you please stand? O&W's students have benefited from your care and compassion for them. On behalf of our school community, thank you for your dedication to education. Now, it is with a great amount of pride that we, the faculty and administration of Olathe Northwest High School, present to you those members of the 2023 senior class who have fulfilled the requirements for graduation as approved by the Kansas Board of Education and augmented and developed by the local Board of Education Unified School District number 233. Dr. Yeager. By the authority of the powers delegated to the superintendent, by the Kansas Board of Education and Unified School District 233 Board of Education, I accept these members of the 2023 graduating class of Olathe Northwest High School as having met the requirements for graduation and do hereby confer upon them their diplomas. We are now to the part you've been waiting for. We are ready to proceed with the reading of the names of the graduates. Lika Elizabeth Heidenreich. Kayla Marie Adams. Jesse Drew Agato. Cooper Jackson Alexander. Landon Joseph Alexander. Michaela Raylan Allen. Stephanie Renee Amel. Samuel David Anderson. 
Braley Marie Apperson, Caleb Cole Ard, Josiah J. Acefa, Lily J. Ball, Amari Tyree Banks Bush, Ash Thomas Bergallo, Nicholas Michael Bartels, Samuel Kelvin Baxter, Gavin Zachary Barons, Jillian Giselle Bendixson, Roy Ashton Benton, William Clayton Bergman, Alyssa Marie Berry, Mallory Renan Bestwick. Riley Ann Bingham, Levi J. Burks, Andrew C. Bjornson, Elson J. Blanding, Alexis Ann Bame, Aiden Christopher Bond. Luke Matthew Bond. Kelsey Booker. Jacob Anthony Bowers. Bam William Braden. Noah Lewin Branstrom. Mason Ryan Bridge, Joseph Michael Broadwick, Alana S. Brown, Dalen A. Brown, Eliana Faith Brown, Chase Michael Burns, Nolan G. Burris, Eric J. Butler, Kylan D. Campbell, Cooper Justin Carley, Cameron Mills Karstad, Natalie Natalia Grace Carrillo Rios, Carter Ryan Kate. Andrea Ali Seha, Camille Christine Chaffin, Aaron Deep Singh Chandy, Thomas James Chalk, Gabrielle Dimitri Chavez, Daniel Alexander Christmas, Gabriela Cordero Sinelli De Silva. Aiden Joseph Clark, Caden James Clark, Sarah Jane Clark, Keaton Lynn Code, Stella Emmeline Cobbs, Leah N. Coker, Evan Thomas Colbert. Brianna Grace Cole, Ethan Edward Collins, Gage Christopher Comfort, Tyler Ryan Compton, Lucas Mitchell Conover, Noah Kenneth Conover, Nicholas Ryan Contreras, Elijah Javier Cooley Calderon, Grant Benjamin Cottrell, Sarah Renee Crabtree. Elizabeth Nicole Crane, Jackson K. Crockett, Isaiah Cole, 
Alexandria E. Dahl. Liam August Dalrymple. Rai Dasgupta. Kylie Louise Lee Davis. Eben R. Dawson. Elizabeth Ann Dirasaw. Patrick W. Decker. Eli Calvin DeJesus. James Neil DeLang. Ricardo DeLaro Briones. Isaiah John Di Natale. Dylan K. DePrima. Melinda Cor Dillon. Isaac Corbin Dean. Vaughn James Dill. Gavin Edward Dines. Evan Paul Dowd. Tristan James Duckworth. Robert Dean Ekdahl. Noah Michael Eckert. Nicholas Ryan Edmonds. Luke Patrick Edwards. Kayla Ann Eford, Tyler Scott Elliott, Justin Thane Elsey, Jaden Donnell Epting, Aiden J. Erhard, Caleb Scott Einan, Madison Marie Fabia, Natalie Renee Fails. Benny Marshall Fallis, Xander Salvador Famous III, Avery Nicole Fisher, Lillian Claire Fisher, Rainy May Fisher, Kaylee Jen Rose May Lee Fitzmorris, Kyle Ray Fleming, Tyler Lawrence Flood, Chance Ray Fountain, Connor David Froz, Daniel Evan Franco, Peyton Lynn Franco, Adrian Robert Frazier, Brooke Marie Frith, Jack F. Fuller. Yeah, Jack. Brooklyn Jade Funk, Kira Jane Galvin, Robin Marie Gamerel, Colin Bryce Gan, Ethan Junping Gao, Grant Christopher Garbeff, Amelia Ann Gardner, Jonathan Andrew Gardner, Allison Elaine Garlic. Marvin Garnica Ariola, Ellie Louise Goudreau, Micah Patrick Geary, Elijah John Gelsheimer, Jalen O'Neill Edward Generally, Kenneth Clark Goebel, Isabel Gracie May Gomez, Douglas Michael Goodyear, Addison Catherine Graham, Avery Elizabeth Green, Jenna Renee Gresher, Alexis Guardado, Joseph Ray Guerra, Braden Reddig Haynes, Olivia G. Hall, Miyako Emily Hallier. 
Jackson Robert Ham, Thomas Reed Hansaker, Carson Thomas Hanna, Ava Eileen Hansen, Samuel Richard G. Hansen, Colin Lee Harbaugh, Andrew L. Harling, Miranda Alicia Harris, Emily May Heath, Evan Ryan Heath, Declan Hefner, Erica Jane Hefner, Emery Ann Heydrich, Augustus Jack Henderson, Wendy Nayeli Hernandez Vallejo, Gabrielle A. Hicks, Nabila Hidayat, Rowan Hayes Highfill, Abigail Lauren Henricks, Caleb Andrew Height, Harper Renee Holland, Simone Francis Hood, Justin Mark Hoshauer, Libby Grace Howard, Gavin C. Hudnall, Trinity Ryan Humble, Dilraj Singh Hundle, Brett Henick, Chase Lawton Jacobs Brown, Brianna James Carrera, Ashana Joswal, James Tyler Jasper, Kane Jeffrey Jesperson, Haley Alyssa Johnson, Virginia Emily Johnson, Lily F. Johnston, Adam Mateo Jones, Brooklyn M. Jones, Neil Greb Jones, Sarah Elizabeth Jones, Pharaoh Benedict Joswara, Brody Owen Kaiser, Gervinda Carr, Ryan Kai Kawakia, Joseph T. Cabeda, Max Davis Keller, Natalie Piper Keller, Ava Michelle Kemp, Alexander Michael Kearns, Dominic Michael Killian. Joey Antonio Kingsby. <laughs> Kelly Capruto. Catherine Taylor Klein. Cyrus James Knight. Alexandria Michelle Coyman. Cecilia Thelma Koparanyan. Elijah David Newell Krogman. Mason Gregory Kukta. Jackson James Cool. David Kamani Congo. Bryn Ann Lachance. Easton Gunner Lane. Thomas Michael Laney. Caitlin A. Langton, 
Haiti Michelle Lara. Luis Edilberto Larios Pena. Jack Herbert LaRue. Alexandra Grace Lawler. Isabella Catherine Lawler. Trenton Bradley Lorenz. Ewan Bowie Leet. Nicholas Ryan Leffler. Marie McCall Lehman. Joseph Andre Lemus. Aiden Jason Lester. Miles Thomas Lindley. Adrian Nadine Locke Garcia. Jacob Timothy Lockyer. Grant Dean Logsdon. Lizette Longoria. Claire Madeline Lopez. Lillian Ray Lowe. Nathan James Lowen. Carly Anna Lynn. Shane A. McCory. Shayla K. Madden. Jacob M. Melzer. Taylor Judy Marriott. Renee A. McCope. David A. Maldonado. Ethan Matthew Maine. Michael Cameron Manny. Catherine Ivana Macoria Hordoro. Jacob Charles Orsaro Maria. Allie Neely Marsh. Christian Anthony Martinez. Ethan Gail Martinez. Cassandra Martinez. Brock R. Mason. Andrew David Matchett. Heidi Anastasia Mattingly. Samuel James Madsen. Ashlyn Ann Maurice. Heidi Antonella McCormick. Alexander James McCoy. Connor Allen McCoy. Daniel Franklin McCubbins. Christiana Gaun McLaughlin. Claire McLuhan. John Franklin McMullen. Olivia Ella Medellin. Ethan Hiram Mejia. Kenzie Lauren Messerly. Bryce William Miller. Penelope Davis Miller. Adaren Shea Milholland. Kira Elise Miner. Ashlyn Marie Minshaw. Connor Dylan Mispagel. Catherine Jane Missel. Matthew E. Mitchell. Thomas Sandy Mitchell. Tierney R. Monroe, Kanye Raymond Montgomery, Caden Alexander Moore, Hunter Taylor Moore, Karis Nicole Morgan, Braden Thomas Mossman, 
Madison O. Mossman, Niobe Mata Garcia, Garcia, Charlie Elizabeth Mowry, Brennan Riley Mudd, Moira Kathleen Mullen, Grace Catherine Mullinex, Isabel May Mullinex, Samuel George Mullinex, Apollo Marie Muma, Audrey Elizabeth Mundell, Mackenzie Catherine Murphy, Sophia Anne Marie Navarro, Merrick Quinn Neely, Owen Christopher Neesmith, Reed Caden Newbanks, Madeline Han Nguyen, Jenna Grace Nichols, Andrew Harrison Nickel, Evan C. Noth, Ryan Nicole Norman, Jacob Owen Norris, Madison Nicole Niels, Hannah Marie Ogdell, Ashley Bossy Ogamba, Hudson Davis Asborn, Jace Braden Balino Asborn, Leo Francis Aschak, Cooper Michael Ott, Bryden Jason Mina Pat, Aspen Patterson, Nathan Scott Pellman, Thomas Joseph Pur-Air, Kylie Rian Petrie, Mason Michael Phelps, Braden Isaac Pierce, Easton Quinn Pierce, Nathaniel F. Pierre, Dean Alden Pittsburgh, Brooklyn Nicole Pitts, Emma Page Pilts, Andy Chris Portillo Celaya, Carly Ray Powers. Braden Andrew Preston, Justin Edward Preston, Connor M. Prue, Jared Prince, Piper Elizabeth Prevo, Marin Grace Rapp, Alexander J. Rawson, Landon Thomas Ray, Brody Joseph Reeb, Luke Edward Rydell, August Edwin Rice, Caleb Vincent Ricks, Hayden Chad Risley, Chloe Jean Robertson, Chad Ryan Robinson, Ryan A. Robinson, Hael Ventura Roca, Uriel Anselmo Roca, Seth Andrew Harrison Rodriguez, Ashley Ann Rogers, Cameron McKenzie Rolliter, Zaid Alexander Rosenbaum, Caden Nicole Ross, Brooke Nicole Roddinghouse. Evan T. Rafino, 
Isabel Claire Russell. Olivia Rose Sali. Ryan Hannah Salinas. Aubrey Christine Sanchez. Itzel Violetta Sanchez Magana. Hemet Singh Sandu. Joshua Michael Sanjean. Braden P. Santillan. Christopher John Savoy. Claire E. Shear. Austin Ryan Shufflemare. Jaron Lee Schlepp. Alana Isabel Shamazreed Lugo. Sydney Allison Schnarr. Dorinda L. Schultz. Austin Thomas Sayer. Grant Isaac Shanklin. Jasmine May Shapiro. Brett Thomas Sheehy. Matthew Dongroy Shields. Carson Andrew Shively. Lily Ann Brunhilda Shopper. Anai Silva Ventura. Alana Marie Smith. Benjamin Ray Smith. Zachariah Wilson Smith. Kyle J. Souders. Ashlyn Emma Soy. Addison Grace Sparks. Cassandra K. Spencer. Samuel K. Spires. Olivia Lee Spurgeon. Liam Cooper Staggs. Paul Daniel Staff. Liliana Jordan Stevenson. Cassie Elizabeth Stevens. Nora Bryn Stevens. Sawyer James Stiles. Abigail Stout. Connor Patrick Stout. Lauren Stout. Devin C. Stover. Michael Quinton Stover. Aiden Joseph Sullivan. Samuel James Swales. Jack Michael Sykes. Tyler Clark Sykes. Noah James Tabor. Salut Solomon Taffeta. Jaden Taylor. Aaliyah Ann Terrell. Michaela Thayer. Nicholas John Tyson. Jasmine Lee Tompkins. Aaron Thomas Thompson. Michaela Sal Todd. Lagro Galia Trejo. Noah Michael Tucker. Sydney A. Ewer. Ian Tristan Valentine. Grace Kelly Van Gelder. Lucas Jed Van Omeren. Amy Claire Van Osprey. Daniel Vega. Emma Marie Vigor. Caliona Leza Villalobos. Tatum Renee Von Moss. 
Benjamin, Eli Wackerla. Reagan, Celie Wade. Hope, Marie Wagner. Reese, Janelle Waite. Charles, Mark Walsh. Chase, Stephen Wassum. Tashina C. Waters. Chastity Maria Waters. Benjamin Michael Webster. Ryan Michael Weibel. <clears throat> David Stephen Weinert. Kaylin R. Welsh. Weston David Wurzberger. Addison Sahai Wesner. Eli Aaron Whitaker. Justin Anthony Marcellus White. Zachary C. White. William Carter Whiteley. Grace Annabelle Wishern. Trace Michael Wilagi. Trenton Scott Wilagi. David S. Wilcox. Tristan Wade Wilson. Kayla Marie Winchell. Alexis Nicole Wolcott. Carson Graham Wolf. Anna Reagan Wolf. Emmanuel Elizabeth Sawan Wood. Gavin D. Ray. Cooper Sterling Wright. Alexander Jackson Yarselik. Jacob Thomas Younger. Allison Grace Zimmerman. Annabelle Grace Zimmerman. It is now my pleasure to introduce four seniors who will lead the class in the alma mater. Class of 2023, please stand. The alma mater will be led by Madison Fabia, Jenna Gresher, William Whiteley, and Chase Wassum. Here, your 
colors, black and royal blue, forever hold us near. We lift you up, our voices raise, your tribute is our cry. We honor you and give you praise. All hail to Northwest High. Good job. You did it. All right, shall we take our seats? I'm going to talk while you guys go back. Ladies and gentlemen, following the ceremony, Diplomas will be distributed on the soccer field for approximately the next 30 minutes or at the end of, the, at the end of graduation for 30 minutes. Uh, to our graduates, only graduates will be allowed to go to the soccer field. Families, you're welcome to continue celebrating in the football stadium on the field with your graduate uh, again for the next 30 minutes. There will be no formal recessional. Seniors, I am incredibly proud of all you have accomplished during your time at ONW. I look forward to hearing of all the great things you will accomplish in your next venture. This is the last page. You may now move your tassel from the right to the left, signifying your graduation. Congratulations, class of 2023. Remember to make those wise choices and have a great evening.